Okay, so once again welcome to my video tutorial for uh, basics of accounting or accounting basic principles, fundamental principles. Today we will be discussing about the fundamental accounting assumption. Uh, there are three assumptions, uh, so we can see that there are three, uh, this is written in plural counting assumptions and there are three uh, fundamental accounting assumptions. There are multiple accounting assumptions, but there are only three fundamental uh, or rudimentary very basic accounting assumptions. These assumptions are always um, there. These assumptions are always there. They are the principles that we are following. Always there. If you do not follow these accounting assumptions, then you have to specifically mention it in the notes to account section of your financial statement. So you will you will uh, declare or uh, you know write a note that you are not following these accounting assumptions otherwise you are not required to write either you are following it or not but specifically in the situation uh, you have to mention that you are not following accounting assumption for so and so region fundamental accounting assumption for so and so region so if you are following, then you are not required to write a note about it. If you are not following the accounting, fundamental accounting assumption, then you are required to write a note about it on the uh, notes to account section of financial statement. So what are these fundamental accounting assumptions? Generally, uh, there are multiple accounting principles that we are following, right? Uh, we have already discussed certain important accounting principles that we are following. Out of those principles, there are three uh, very basic principles that must be followed and uh, this, is, this is generally practiced by almost all, uh, almost all entities except few. Uh, in few cases, if they are not following these accounting principles, then in that case they are going to disclose about that. So what are fundamental accounting assumptions? They are very basic accounting assumptions which are not required to be specifically disclosed and hence the same are called account, fundamental accounting assumptions. The definition is there. Uh, fundamental accounting assumptions uh, follow very in so what will happen? If these uh, fundamental accounting assumptions have not been followed, then the entity should specifically disclose this information along with their financial statements. Okay. This way the users know such facts, which facts that fundamental accounting assumptions have not been followed. These fundamental accounting principles have not been followed. It is necessary to communicate this thing to the users of the financial statement. We already know what is financial statement, right? But we'll discuss this on later section. Financial statement includes balance sheet, profit and loss statement, statement of cash flow, okay? And we have a uh, statement of change in equity and the notes to account. So this uh, five element change in equity, change in equity and notes to account. These five elements are generally included in the financial statement. And in this section, notes to account section, we have to we have to disclose that which financial accounting principles, which uh, which accounting principles we have been following. Okay, I mean, I have one more sir. The cost of cost of principles we have been following very rational. The kun method ma am le saying the principle I apply very rational, but nikra. Ali kati detail ma say I am le notes to account section ma le kira one more sir. We have to show that except going concern consistency and accrual these three fundamental accounting principles that you are following but you are not required to disclose. Everybody is following. Everybody is following. So you just like you have to follow by down sir. This must be followed. They were uh even if I have no accounting or the Kerry a financial statement on the Kerry uh two accounting sustainable going concern follow Nogarawala one error otherwise notes to account ma hamle gareko chaina ma hamro going concern chalira chaina ya hamro consistency bhaira chaina kunai kunai principle la hamle change garira chha bhanera notes to account section ma dekhi halinchha otherwise hamle yo tinu da principles cha hamle follow garira chha bhanne assumption lina saksau assumption bhane ke we assume that this has been followed right so <coughs> there are three these three will be discussed in this slides now uh, going concern assumption. What is going concern assumption? 
This is the very basic assumption. This is the other way accounting ticket as I have. So, um, going concern assumption refers to the assumption where the people consider, the accountant consider that uh, the business will run forever, okay, at least for foreseeable future, okay. कलांतर समय जब समय आए मिले जब भविष्य देखने समय तब समय में सही अब हम लोग सोच उन्हें समय तब समय में बिजनेस चल सही अब चलाने पर सही बनी वाले सोचो चलने पर सही बने हुए एकाउंटिंग वर्ड है ही ये वाला एजेंसन रहा है एकाउंटिंग वर्ड नहीं क्योंकि बिजनेस को ये बंद वर्ड लाइक खोले पूरा वही नहीं uh, short term partnership or short term any any ventures uh any business short term to like this one is a pre plan right otherwise accounting or the this this business will run forever or run at least for foreseeable futures so to assumption ke sath hamile agadi badhne accounting or the hai business to accidentally business bandha garnu parne huna sakcha Business could there is a continuously do each other some loss by when we may discontinue the business. So, who knows? Actually, I mean, so many business are successful. Who knows? Like uh, out of ten, two or three business are successful. Or so uh, on the on the human that many comes or ratio thing, right? Uh, one percent. I mean, just because business only, but if so many business are successful, who knows? So many. So, why not? It is not necessary. So, practicality is there. So, accounting or that area, I mean, business bond or new or two three years or something. You must also take hold of your heart. That the bond of virtue, that the concern is that everybody wants to make each of each bit of business successful, right? So to carry on that, I mean, accounting or that, I mean, you solve it on side, you can take care of it. I mean, that's why I mean, so many things. Plus, ah, but this much, I mean, you going concern assumption, so much that, I mean, what a fight that you want to do. Accounting or that, I mean, I mean, accounting to business school life, like accounting period, I mean, convert on that. मल्टिपल पीरियड्स जो कंसेप्ट यो मल्टिपल पीरियड कंसेप्ट कसरी आए तो भाई पैले बिजनेस लंग टर्म को बारे में सोच बिजनेस कहींसम चल तो खाई कहींसम चल जब समय हमी बात हमारा छोरा छोरी बात छोरा छोरी का छोरा छोरी बात तो भाई फ्यूचरसम चल जाने सोच भाला अब के बीच बीच में चेक एंड बैलेन्स तो करूँ यूनिक टू चेक एंड बैलेन्स द बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज पर्फर्मेन्स एस पोजिशन राइट सो फर दैट रिजन we need to uh, you know divide this uh, life of business into multiple accounting period and nowadays a period of 12 months have been considered as very standard accounting period okay so this accounting period um, is actually the concept that has come out because of our assumption when concern assumption uh, so another thing is we are dividing uh, assets into short term assets and long term assets because of periodicity concept uh, and this periodicity concept is uh, uh, has come out because of going concern concept so sometimes you can find in the objective question that uh, to, to asset like long term short term asset ma bati da huncha tyo kina aye to ke karanle kun assumption ko karanle atwa kun principle ko karanle garda tyesto garinchha bhanda kheri हमें कोइंग कंसर्न एजेंसन को कारण हाई सो एटा तो भैलो इसमें अरुण तस्त खास लंग टर्म समय से बिजनेस चल् भोच का साथ एकाउंटिंग करो करने चक्कर में हमें एकाउंटिंग बिजनेस को लाइफ लाउंटिंग पीरियड में कन्वर्ट कर सर्ट टर्म लंग टर्म एसेट्स लाइब्रिटीज में डिवाइड कर साल को तो साल को खर्च इनकम मैचिंग प्रिंसिपल अप्लाई करने कोशिश कर डिफ्रेंट पीरियड को इनकम एक्सपेन्सेस कंपेरिजन करेंगे पीरियडिक प्रफिट पर्फर्मेन्स चेक कर सब कह आए तो भाई ये कोइंग कंसन एजमसन भाई प्रिंसिपल बड़ आयो ए फंडामेन्टल एकाउंटिंग एजमसन वी डोट निड टू वी डोट निड टू डिस्क्लोज दिस एजमसन इन अवर नोट्स टू एकाउंट सेक्शन वाइल डिस्क्लोजिंग अदर प्रिंसिपल्स क्योंकि दिस इज वेरी बेसिक दिस इज एवरीबडी थिंग्स दैट द बिजनेस इज गोइंग टू रन for foreseeable future so you are not required to disclose it okay next thing is just like uh, is just like uh, normally people are saying right when while well, while describing about a person you don't need to say that he is a sane person he is you, you don't need to say that you are, he is a, he is not mad okay it is very normal thing to be a normal person so you are not required to disclose uh, uh, his sanity 
while describing a person. Similarly, you are not required to disclose uh, about the uh, you know going concern next of a business while describing about the accounting principles of the business because uh, mostly we follow this principle. Okay, we have to. Is it compulsory? No. Sometimes uh, we uh, we are running a very short ventures in that case, or sometimes the the business will suffer uh, from a heavy loss, and it it is possible that the business is going to be disclosed, uh, going to dissolve very soon. Okay. In that situation, we need to disclose that okay, there is no more going concern assumption we have been following because the business is going to uh, be impacted because of this kind of loss and maybe we are discontinuing business very soon. So in that situation only you have to disclose that the going concern assumption so has not been followed. Okay. Going concern assumption have not been followed. This must be disclosed. Correct? Now, uh, now we are going into the uh, another very important assumption. This is very good assumption. Consistency assumption. Okay like in life we have to you know be very consistent upon our efforts hard work our principle okay what we do in life what we want to do in life we have to be very consistent being consistent means following it regularly okay following it on a regular basis daily basis year on year basis so in accounting also we have uh, uh, this consistency assumption which says that well, uh, you are following some principles, accounting principles, you have chosen some accounting principles like you are following accrual basis or you are following uh, accrual basis or you are following cash basis. You have option, right? Kune kune expenses are the same, cash basis ma, kune kune expenses are the same, accrual basis ma record varna milsa, kune kune in company, cash basis ma record varna milsa, depending upon the nature of business. Like NGO or let's say cash basis ma normally uh, transactions or record or record they can test the gari chain or sadaran business or let's say accrual basis ma transactions or record or record they can accrual basis ma ne kyo ani bilkul thoran the next slide ma tai accounting exemption or yada fundamental accounting exemption accrual ma ne kyo kyo ta ma na kiri to transaction koi le bhaiyo ma ne aada ma ho na ki transactions ko payment the receipt coil boy, but the other ones are recorded. So, we will discuss this in detail later on. Um, so, all the option one is SLM method follow where it has a WDB method follow where it has. This is also option. You have option to choose to apply for certain fixed assets in order to calculate the depreciation. Now, similarly, with that, we have other uh, options like uh, the valuation of the market value as well as the market value of the investment like cost which approach you are following. Okay, a market value of the investment reserve for the market value of the market value of cost and the unrealized profit of the unrealized profit of the market value of the investment reserve for the market value. So this is unrealized profit, like revaluation reserve banas, the right? investment case man say investment reserve banas. So market value they have cost money, they have all on something bro. As an investor, as an accountant, as a business person, right? Uh, so whatever we are following, we must be follow, we must be following that principle regularly. If you are applying SLM basis uh, on certain assets, we have to apply SLM basis on that assets uh, for like. Uh, you know, uh, multiple years, so jobs not just like soft, you know. So, for some, I mean, SLM basis like follow one person, right? One sir, any, any expense like book or that, any cash basis follow one person, right? So, expense cash basis, just the bonus normally cash basis man. Bonus to employee normally cash basis man record only by one, right? So, cash basis man record that the better one sir, one sir law to be funny. Just the help of that support person, who knows person, just the person who background so happy man. This uh, I am not going to discuss. You need to find it out. Let's let's say that this is your assignment. Okay. Um, <coughs> uh, another thing is SLM and WDB. SLM and WDB. Uh, this is straight line method and WDB written down value method for calculating the depreciation. You need to uh, select any one for one type of asset. Uh, if you are following WDB, then follow WDB like for multiple years until the asset is uh, discarded. Or uh, disposed of. Uh, so this is also consistency principle, which says 
that if you want to change uh, the method or principle that you have been following you can it is not like it is compulsory to follow any principle uh, consistently but there are chances that because the law has been changed that's why we have like previously it was uh, slm method for a particular like furniture was saying slm method la pani huncha wd bill la pani huncha bhanne thiyo haina pachi kanun change bhayo tax law le ke bhanna thale ta wd bill nai launu parcha bhanera bhanna thale pani athwa company law le wd bill nai launu parcha aba slm na launi bhanera bhanne bhane now we have to change right we have no options we have to be legally compliant in this situation uh, you can quote why you have changed because you are not following consistent c principle you have changed that's why you have to quote in notes section that why you have made such change and the reason is because of statutory compliance okay and another is because of accounting standard there have been new accounting standard which says that the sla method is not that scientific now we have to follow wdb this is also in a way uh, in order to comply with the accounting standard we are changing the uh, principle of accounting uh, assumptions or accounting methods that we have been following okay now another is for more appropriate presentation of financial statement this is very important and very subjective very judgmental thing uh, that is there for this reason also we can change we 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 have to change right pehla bhanda better hunu sakcha bhanne because we find that uh, even slm and wdb are not that scientific and we assume that the sinking fund method is more scientific and more practical so we have to change the method to the sinking fund method okay so in this situation um, you have to explain that why you have changed and has it has it uh, you know done some better changes in your financial presentation or not you have to explain about it when you change your accounting principles that you have been following okay it's pretty basic and easy principle you should not change the method the approaches the assumptions the estimates that you have been doing if you are changing the estimate your assumptions your methods your principles you have to disclose it and you have to say why you have made the changes if you have made the changes because of statutory uh, requirement because of accounting standards requirement or because you want to make it more better you want to present the financial statement in more more better, better way give a accurate true and accurate picture of your assets and liabilities okay uh, but it's quite subjective what is uh, to say that which one is better which one is not better this is quite subjective it depends upon persons and persons their perceptions okay now let's move to the very important another uh, fundamental accounting assumption which is accrual principle accrual principle is uh, different than cash principle okay so <coughs> what does accrual principle means accrual principle means you have to record your income you have to record your income when they are earned and you have to record your expenses when they are expenses when they are spent or incurred okay we have uh, we have different meaning of you know earned and incurred uh, इसको अर्थ के होना जान भन को अर्थ के होन मतलब वेन यू वेन यू हेव राइट टू क्लेम फर वेन यू हेव राइट टू क्लेम राइट टू क्लेम अगेन्स्ट अगेन्स्ट हूम राइट टू क्लेम अगेन्स्ट अ कस्टमर दिस इज अर्निंग ओके अर्निंग भाई क्या कस्टमर बट ही हो जनरली इफ यू हेव राइट टू क्लेम अगेन्स्ट अ कस्टमर बिकज यू हेव रेन्डर्ड सम सर्विस or some render some service or you have uh, provided or sold some goods or similar other activities which generate revenue okay this the activity gare hauna le ra gari sake pachadi tapai sanga right to claim aako huna le tapai le kamaako bhaninchha kamaunu is a different thing kamaeko paisa prapt garnu chutai kura ho तर पैसा प्राप्त करूँ कैश बेसिश हो कमा छुट्टी कुरा हो जो मंथली सैलरी कहींसम कमाई सकता भादा खेल मंथ एंडसम कमाई सकता बट दैट डज नट मीन मंथ एंडम पैसा आँच भाई होना द क्वेश्चन इज वेन यू सैल रिकॉर्ड योर इनकम आई सैल रिकॉर्ड माई इनकम एट द एंड अफ एवरी मंथ बिकज बाई देन आई हेव 
uh, right to claim that money from the institute or from the other organizations in which I am working. Okay. Business ni pani sale gori sabko, delivery gori sabko pani. Balla chai kamaay ko unsa. Contract matre gorre pani hunda hai na. Contract gori chai se perform na gori kana earning hunda hai na. Perform gori chai se right to claim unsa. Right to claim aise ke pas chadi paisa unsa. Right. Okay. So right to claim aise sabko pani ni yaan. Yaan hai rawa hamle record karne. Not when the money is received. तो कराते छुट्टी आऊँगा परो। तो ये दी जो सपोज 2075 साल में सेल बापू साब नहीं 2075 साल में रिकॉर्ड होने परो। भाई ना पैसा 2076 में आए वाने रस 76 को सेल मानने होने हैं। सपोज ये दी वेला सेल बाय था, ये दी वेला रिसीव बाय था। ओके मनी रिसीव। तो व्हेन यू शैल रिकॉर्ड सेल 2075 और 2076 actually delivery गरी सके पसाड़ी contract में perform गरी सके पसाड़ी मानने का होने हरे accrual basis लेके बन्सा sale is considered when it is actually made right अब कोई ये sale made उन्सा था बन्दा when you have actually delivered you have performed your part of promise right so this is very important so खर्चा कोई ये होता खर्चा incur होने वाले को तो ये तो पहले benefit ली सब मुन्सा तो ये खर्चा incur होने हो क्या Benefit lease है कि बस अरे खर्चा इनका वो you might have paid or you might not have paid तो ये वाले यो accrual principle दे वड़ा करा चाहिए तो पहले accounting कर दा है जिसे कहाँ सो हम ले चाहे outstanding expenses मान सो नहीं ये outstanding expenses माने कि वो तो बोलते हैं I have booked the expenses but not paid बने आप अंजी expense कोई ये book करने तो जब expense को occurrence मान सा यानी कि when you have received the benefit from other persons in that situation, you have to record the expense, right? Just to cost anything like salmon supply or even you have to record purchases. But maybe you are not paying it right then. Then you have to say uh, it is a liability to pay to the creditors. So you come out You are not paying it, right? But you have already taken the benefit. So you have taken the benefit. That means you have you you are liable to, you are liable to pay. Taking benefit for which you have to incur some cost is actually happening of expense now you may pay it right now or you may pay it later on it does not make a difference but you have incurred the expenses when you have incurred the expenses when you have actually taken the benefit and there is an obligation legal obligation that has arose because of this uh, benefit okay now you have to pay you may pay right now you may pay later on but you have to pay so a benefit taken for which we have to incur some cost is expenses okay and expenses shall be booked when you have actually taken the benefit and you are liable or obliged to pay in that situation you have to record it it doesn't matter when the cash flow has been made when the cash flow has been made it does not make any differences so uh, look at this third point this is a foundation of accrual basis of account it is important for the preparation which one this one okay money is not necessary to record the expenses or income inflow and outflow of money is not necessary the time actually timing of inflow and outflow of money is not necessary money is necessary definitely when you are making a sale you must get money you are making expenses you must pay money right but flow of money the timing of flow of money is not necessary to record any income or expenses so it is important for the preparation of financial statements that show what actually happened in accounting period rather than artificially delayed or accelerated by associated cash flows like once the one hari you the cash flow ko karan le garda hari income or expenses like chota chote barsha ma na paaru jun barsha ko ho tai barsha ma record garau cash flow la action la bhulau 75 saal ko expense ho 75 saal ma record garau koi le pay gare to sanga matlab na ho पचहत्तर साल को इनकम लाइफ पचहत्तर साल में रिकॉर्ड करूँ इट डज नॉट मैटर व्हेन द अमाउंट इज रिसीव्ड ओके इफ अमाउंट इज नॉट रिसीवेबल दैट इज मैट इट राइट ओके सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू रिकॉर्ड द इनकम व्हेन यू हैव ऑन द इनकम एंड देन यू हैव टू रिकॉर्ड द इनफ्लो ऑफ कैश व्हेन यू हैव एक्चुअली इनफ्लो ऑफ कैश एंड देन यू हैव टू रिकॉर्ड द बैड डेट्स व्हेन द कैश इनफ्लो ऑफ कैश इज नॉट पॉसिबल Okay, it is not possible. Then you have to record the matter. So in this situation, uh, we have to uh, identify or differentiate uh, 
when to record cash and when to record actually our income and expenses. Income and expenses shall be recorded on the basis of accrual principle when they accrue, when they are actually earned or incurred. Accrue means when it happens, okay? When they are actually earned or when they are actually incurred. Accrue means that. And actually, accrue uh, refers to everyday happening of event, okay? Everyday happening. So, suppose for example, if you are um, teaching in some institute or if you are, uh, you, you have deposited some amount of money in a fixed deposit account of bank, then every day, each second, uh, you are earning uh, interest, okay, each second you are earning interest, though you may not ask the money from the bank because there is some contractual obligation that before this period you cannot ask, that is called due date for the payment. But every time it is accruing, every second, every hour it is accruing, you are earning, okay, interest is like that thing. Because it is paid on the basis of some hours or days or months, okay. So every time it is accrued, okay. So now, accrual is different than cash. That is something which you should carry, you should carry in your brain, okay. This is the third accounting principle. Now, I quick, quickly discuss about the financial statement that we have been discussing. Financial statement in the notes to account section is very important. Notes to account section. Is my is my family to disclose God's own kun kun accounting principles or to follow or to song, hey na? Ani kun fundamental accounting assumptions ko baare mein likhne padhe na? Yadi follow nagari pasand chale likhne pasa, hey? Kun fundamental accounting assumptions family to follow gari hai na? इंपोर्टेंट Financial statement में कई कुछ आप बुझे ना बने, आने दो दिन नोट आकर आते हैं, और ऐसे को एनेक्शन रेट सों, भाई ने, संसाइन जुड़े रहते हैं, इसको एक्सप्लेनेशन रेट सों, नोट्स तो एकाउंट रेट सों, so we have uh, basically uh, five statements uh, which are included in the financial statement. so financial statement is are actually the collection of summary level reports, this is the highest level reports uh, that an organization is preparing, which shows the financial results, financial positions and cash flow. So first one is statement of financial position. This is balance sheet. Balance sheet is actually uh, uh, a point of time statement. Point of time statement. You say, "Borsa ko on din ko din ko assets and liability ko position matre bansa idle." Right? So last day ko assets and liability ko position bansa it shows the assets and liability of that day, last day. So this ko balance is assets and liability ledger ko balance ko tisa one and one new asta idle. Summarized form or a better presentation got it on a you say statement of financial performance one equal income statement of as only statement of and you cap on a product profit or loss one in a funny person as much of a good around says for manufacturing account also trading account also being an account also well I'll get a better way my statement to form as a present going to your periodic statement to this is periodic statement this is a very good example of the expenses of income or worries on one that is the summary that is the result of the income. Cash flow statement is not just cash flow inflow or outflow. This is the accounting statement. Cash flow inflow or outflow. This is important just to know the cash inflow and outflow of an entity. I will say cash flow statement is also the same as the cash flow statement. I will say the cash flow statement is the same as the cash flow. लिक्विडिटी को एनालिसिस में कौन पार्ट में से इंटरेस्ट है जस्तो स्वास्थ्य लेसे लिक्विडिटी मैनेज करना पास है जस्तो इसमें फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटी ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी वन रहा है तीन रहा एक्टिविटी में छोटे रहा इसाक के तापर गोरी रहा हूँ सों ऑपरेशन वाला दे � so, if you have any activity, you can do cash manage. That activity is like analysis, invest, investing decisions, lenders, etc. So, if you have any operating activity, you can do cash manage. Good thing. 
तर इन्वेस्ट के लिए फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटी बट जो लोन लीएर अथवा घर बाड़ी पैसा हालां कैपिटल को रूप में इन्वेस्ट कर इंजेक्ट कर पैसा मैनेज भैर दिस इज बैड थिंग हाई सदैंभरी ये करूं तो कारण कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट बड़ा इंपोर्टेन्ट स्टेटमेंट हो अर्क स्टेटमेंट अफ चेंज इन इक्विटी ये वर्ष को सुरुआत में रर्ष को अंतिम में हम कैपिटल कसरी चेंज भो कैपिटल रिजर्व्स भन न एक्मिक प्रफिट कसरी चेंज भो कत हमें कैपिटल री इंट्रोड्यूस गये कि अथवा प्रफिट धेरे कमा या लस भो कि भाई जस्ट तो कैपिटल को हिस्सा में जो जो कुछ जोड़ी वन थिंग इज वेरी बेस्ट कैपिटल एंड अदर थिंग इज रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस हो यह दुईटा कुरा को चेंज हमें देखा स्टेटमेंट अफ चेंज इन इक्विटी मना स्टैचुटरी रिक्वायरमेंट भी होगा रूप में इंपोर्टेंट भी ये पाँच ये दुईट स्टेटमेंट हो फिर पीरियडिक स्टेटमेंट हो वर्षभरी को हिसाब किताब देखा वर्षभरी को चेंजेस देखा दिस इज अल्सो पीरियडिक स्टेटमेंट एंड द लास्ट वन इज नोट्स टू अकाउंट नोट्स टू अकाउंट तो मैं अभी नहीं नोट्स टू अकाउंट इज नट एनी पीरियडिक और पॉइंट अफ टाइम स्टेटमेंट इट इज जस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट व्हाट वी आर फलोइंग ओके इट इज जस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन मे बी दिस नोट्स टू अकाउंट विल रिमेन अलमोस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट फर एवरी इयर्स एक्सेप्ट फ्यू लिटल चेंजेस That happens there needs to be specifically reported. Other than that, uh, it remains constant for an entity. Okay, so mm, this is all about the uh, basic or fundamental accounting assumptions and about the financial statement. Let's go to this section. This is very important. You can write a note about this section. Uh, I have made a comparison of balance sheet, cash flow, and other thing income statement. Like it is a period of time statement, cash flow is period of time statement, but balance sheet is point of time statement. Uh, purpose is income statement को profitability check करना लायो, profit profit profitability के संस्था को profit कमाए ना चाहिए सही ना वाला check करना लायो. अन्य financial position check करनी वाली को संस्था को ऐसे सारा ऐसे सारा liability को position check करनी, इसमें profit check करनी वाली नहीं चाहिए, इसमें सही liquidity check करनी वाली नहीं चाहिए. So liquidity check करना है मिली cash flow statement बनाऊँ सम. रेवेन्यू एक्सपेन्स प्रफिटेबिलिटी के कुछ इसमें आसेस लाइबिटी और कैपिटल का कुछ इसमें आने कैश को और कैश इक्विवेलेंट को कैश इक्विवेलेंट बैंक भी पर्ने हो बिल्स भी पर्ने भाई है सो कैश एंड कैश इक्विवेलेंट के कुछ इसमें आमिलरली बेसिक इक्वेसन इसमें तो दुईटा भेट सकता ग्रस प्रफिट सेल्स माइनस कस्ट अफ गुड्स होल्ड हो रहा नेट प्रफिट ग्रस प्रफिट में अदर इनकम जोड़े अदर एक्सपेन्सेस घटाए इसमें से नेट प्रफिट आँच भाई बैलेंस सीटली एकाउंटिंग इक्वेसन मैं जो बना थे एकाउंटिंग इक्वेसन रिप्रेजेंट कर अब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन में यहां कुछ काम लग एकाउंटिंग इक्वेसन इसलिए रिप्रेजेंट कर बैलेंस सीटें कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट ने हम ओपनिंग में कैश कति थी कति बढ़ो कति घटो भाई कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट देखा सो दिस इज अल अबाउट कंपेरिजन अफ इनकम स्टेटमेंट बैलेंस एंड कैश फ्लो दिस इज एंड अफ दिस क्लास We'll see you in the next lecture. In next lecture, we'll be discussing about the measurement of transactions and events, which is very basic but very important. Okay, thank you, guys.